Welcome to the video blog of Fighting Fear with Kevin. I'm Kevin Ashworth. I'm a therapist, um, business owner in Portland, Oregon, and I specialize in the treatment of anxiety disorders. Um, this YouTube channel video is about really helping people um, challenge their fears and understand anxiety disorders, understand mental health, um, behavior therapy, cognitive behavior therapy, and exposure response prevention. I haven't done a video in a while, so I apologize. I've been asked a few times lately when those are happening, and so thank you for the people that have watched them. Um, so today I wanted to talk about, I want to keep these videos short and only about four or five minutes, and one thing that comes up regularly in helping people overcome their fears with exposure therapy, the question is often, I'm already doing that, so why am I not getting better? People have this very uh, basic idea of what exposure therapy is, even a lot of other therapists, that it's really just doing something that's scary. So if you're scared to go to school, go. If you're scared to ride the elevator, ride it. If you're terrified of having a panic attack uh, while you're at work, just go. And of course, people have to continue functioning in their lives, and so they maintain these levels of distress while doing the thing that they're terrified of. So even though you ride the elevators, you're not overcoming your fear. Even though you're making it to school, it's not getting any easier. And even though you're going to work every single day, you're still terrified of that next panic attack. And exposure therapy is just not that simple. Um, it's really helping people move towards their fear while being vulnerable. The biggest difference of what we do with exposure therapy versus just, you know, white knuckling it is we ask people to change their relationship with anxiety. Most of the clients that come here understandably want to be cured from their anxiety and that just can't happen. But what we want to do is help them change their relationship. When you're not, when you're not very scared of your physiological feelings and you no longer worry about having intrusive, intense thoughts, and you disconnect the meaning and the associations between those thoughts and those feelings and, and your behaviors, your anxiety no longer exists. Um, anxiety is really based on the premise that something terrible will happen. It's the perception of, of fear or perceived threat and not actual danger. And so exposure therapy is so successful because everybody's physiology is the same. That if we put you in a perceived scary situation, and nothing bad actually happens, and there is an actual danger, your autonomic nervous system, your threat activation system will calm down. Of course, most people don't allow this to happen. And so if I walk into a coffee shop and I feel a ton of anxiety, thinking people are judging me, or I might have a panic attack, or I feel like the coffee shop is contaminated, and I leave, my threat activation system calms down because I have left. And so I've never you're disallowing your body to really learn what it would be like to stay there and actually to calm down. Excuse me. So the, the difference between that and being an actual danger is that if you're in the presence of actual danger, whether that's a tiger, an alligator, or a guy with a gun, your threat activation system is going to stay high pretty much probably the whole time. And so it would make sense that any moment you try and get out of there or fight for your life or whatever you do. But... Um, we are training our brains through exposure therapy to learn that the thing that you're doing is no longer scary. So how does that, so the, the subtle changes that have to happen for individuals is they have to remove what we call safety behaviors when they're doing things that are scary. And that is to ultimately be vulnerable and open to the, the idea that the anxiety can come at any moment and that you're willing to tolerate that distress. And once you're willing to tolerate that distress without your safety behaviors, without your cell phone, your bottle of water, your medication, your safety person, um, your gloves, your hand washing, um, whatever that might be, once you get rid of all those things, and, and we do that very systematically, once you get rid of those things and you're willing to be there raw and vulnerable, and the anxiety comes and it goes away, people go, wow, it went. Because if you have those safety behaviors and the anxiety comes and it goes away, you attribute that to this collection of safety behaviors. And so there's no confidence built in your ability to tolerate and manage your anxiety. So that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I could go on with that topic. If you have questions about that, please email me, kevin at nwanxiety.com. Check out our Facebook page, Northwest Anxiety Institute. A couple of plugs that I do want to um, 
say that I'm going to be updating is we just created not Northwest Anxiety Institute but a collection of awesome clinicians in Oregon and other people that live with OCD uh, very smart people have created a board of directors for OCD Oregon it's an affiliate of the International OCD Foundation and so our role and our mission is really to create awareness um, create resources and build education for for people that struggle with OCD or people that live with OCD and their family members um, the International OCD Foundation is IOCDF.org. We are OCDOregon.org. Please check out our websites. Um, we're a charitable organization, so if you would like to donate and support the cause, that would be amazing. And June 10th, we are going to do our first walk. There's a uh, um, one million steps for OCD walk that is hosted by the International OCD Foundation, and we're going to do one here in Oregon. Place to be determined, so stay in touch. Northwest Anxiety Institute, my clinic, um, just celebrated four years, so which is amazing, and we couldn't have done it with all the support that we've had and the amazing clients that that um, engage their tremendous bravery to come to the clinic regularly to challenge their fears. Um, we've we've helped I think like 700 people and done over 12,000 hours of therapy in the last four years, so it's pretty incredible to be part of that. Um, and we're super humbled that um, people trust us with their family members and with their mental health and with their personal lives and, and torturous thoughts sometimes so thank you so much please subscribe to the youtube channel um, if you have things that you would like me to talk about send them in and i will address them thanks so much